these are the type of messages killers usually receive after the match. So either you get nothing or you get some salt if you win. Now there are some super duper rare occasions that you may see a survivor that shows good sportsmanship but for the most part it's either they say nothing to you or they send you salt. This ain't PC where you got in-game chat. Maybe on PC they say GG's more often than they do on PS4 but on PS4 if you slap them up and they don't win you either gonna get salt or they ain't gonna say nothing to you. The only time they'll willingly go out of their way to give you a GG is if they win. And 95% of that time, it's not to be a good sport, it's to rub it in. Today, I ran into the most toxic survival with friends group I have ever faced in my entire life. You're gonna see the gameplay, you're gonna see how toxic they were being, but it's not even the gameplay that kills me, it's how they acted afterwards. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this gameplay. Today, I woke up in a good mood, hopped on stream, was doing my thing, we was having a lot of fun so we decided to do this challenge where we go through all the killers from left to right and only use one perk with no add-ons. This gameplay you're about to see is the reason why I shit on most of these perks in the game. I could get if people were using these perks to actually help them survive and not be all egotistical because they have certain perks, but that's generally not the case. I'm at Red Rings. These red rings use these perks for overkill. Most of them run these perks and have the biggest egos ever. This is a full survival friends group. I will let you guys wait to the end to figure out everything they run. I have no issue with them running these perks, but the way they acted is the reason why I cannot stand most of these survivors that run those perks because they usually act just like these people in this video. It's one thing to try to bully a killer, you know, teabag, run the perks and do all that, you know, cute shit. But then when you go out of your way to purposely harass the killer because you did what you did, that's when we have the problem. Like, I'm not gonna tell somebody to not teabag. I'm not gonna tell somebody to not run Decisive Strike as much as I hate it. But don't sit up there and have the biggest ego like you're the stuff because you bring this into the game and win. It's like me bringing an Ebony Mori and then sending a survivor a message talking about get wrecked. But anyways, like most people, obviously, losing does suck. I tried my best to keep my composure. You know, losing like this, it does kind of suck. But these survivors really pushed it. They were really freaking pushing it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and watch this. A little bit too long. Yes, I did fuck up. Yes, I did mess up. Oh, wow. I didn't realize they did that. Damn. I fucked up. I didn't realize they were on this side of the map. I messed up. It's gonna kill us. I'm just gonna wait till he struggles. Swap books. <laughs> they both have DS, that's why they did this dumb shit. It's pathetic. You have D strike, you're not good without it. The only reason why you're getting cute because you know you had that shit. And you have fucking dead heart. Ah! So my survivors pissed me off. 
Yeah, of course you have DS. You ain't good without it. Shit is pathetic. It's pathetic as fuck. Yep, look at y'all. D-Strikes. Told you the D-Strike, I mean the Twitch stream is going to have a fucking DS. I forgot about his bullshit dead heart. Ah! Dumb rat. Now, later on in the video, one of the survivors ended up coming in my stream and saying that the reason why they teabagged was because I face camp. But they were flashlight flickering and doing all this other stuff before I even started camping. Five gens are powered on. What am I supposed to do? Just walk away? If I even want one kill, I kind of have to do this. I lost either way. Stay on a fucking bottle. You bitches are so terrible at this game. This is why I hate survivors. This is exactly why I hate survivors. This is exactly why I hate survivors. This is exactly why I hate survivors. Exactly why I hate survivors. This is exactly why I hate survivors. Exactly why I hate them. We can't do nothing because they do shit like this. But then, let me pull out some sweaty shit, then you get a message from their dumbass. This is exactly why I don't play this shit like this. That's why I fuck I don't fuck with this game. That shit's fucking annoying. Look at this shit. Y'all think y'all good because you ran this? How do you lose with this? Me and Show did this shit to fucking prove a point. You motherfuckers actually believe in your hearts that you're good at this game. How do you lose with this? How do you lose against this? How? How do you lose? And then you had a nerd that sits up there and teabag like you guys are doing something. Y'all not fucking good. Well, damn, JR, you're salty. You damn skippy. What the hell do you think? I accidentally said nigga on stream. My bad. But goddamn. God damn, but unlike survivors, when I'm salty, I don't go out of my way to message them and start shitting on them for doing what they did. But boy oh, like I said, since they won, they're gonna message the killer GG. So of course, one of them sends me a GG, and I normally don't usually respond like this, even if I lose and the survivor that sent me a GG, I normally don't respond, but I'm not gonna lie, they had high key pissed me off. I was doing a challenge, then they came through and did what they did. One of them sent me a GG, I told them shut the hell up, I was not in the mood. They, they ought to knew I was not in the mood. Now that I'm calm now, I wish I could have replied better. But I know what you guys are made thinking. Well, damn, Jay, you should have said, GJ, they could have been cool. Well, if they were cool, they wouldn't have did what they did in this video. 
If I responded like that and their true intentions was not to provoke me and piss me off, then they wouldn't have came to my stream and start heckling me. They would have seen that I didn't want to be bothered and leave me the hell alone. But did they do that? They did the total opposite. The match is over and now I guess this dude is these people's leader. Their leader hits me up. My guys bodied you. You should rematch. I'd love to talk to you about future. Just sh shut up. You're going to see. I was trying so hard, so hard to just ignore that and move on chat. But they came to the stream and heckled me. I'm going to show you that right now. So after I told that dude to shut the hell up, I ended up blocking him. Everybody else, I didn't respond to. And due to me not responding to them, they were desperate for my attention. So they come up in my stream. They say, we could do a rematch if you want. I'm a member of the team you play as Myers. We could set it. I play this game for fun. I am not grinding to be the best, nor do I care to be the best. I don't claim to be the best. I strictly play this game to have fun. But boy, oh boy, these survivors, they're on a team and everything, man. And they are professionals at this. They were adamant that they play me to prove how much of a great team they are. They still up in the stream and Lobox is the person who messaged me the GG. That's how I knew that these dudes meant malicious intent. So this dude's buddy delivered the message for me. He says Lobox said he would baby you again if we rematch. And then their leader is also in my chat and he's agreeing with him. Facts. What y'all talking about? Oh, uh, they came in the chat for some attention. That's crazy. Survivor mains will be survivor mains. But hey, congratulate them. Not many people can run crutch perks in the in beat a one perk. Michael. It's pretty impressive. Hey, let them think they're good. I mean, I hey, they are good. It takes skill to do what they just did. Not many people can use decisive strike, dead heart, and all that shit. Some impressive shit they did. So this professional Dead by Daylight group is still in my stream trying to play me. Now they talking about some, you gonna play us, we play for cash out of my pockets. Then this dude says, you're gonna let us baby you again. And like I said, I wasn't gonna rematch him. I didn't care about playing in the game. I didn't care about proving how better I am than him. I did not care. I just wanted them to spit my nuts out and they would not. Their leader is still persisting that I play them. Join my public chat and try your luck. Then he says there's no such thing as crutch perks, only your emotion that goes behind that. Well, yeah, keep the same energy when Killers is bringing Ebony Moors into the game. Then Real Sealbot says I'm not bragging. He said he wanted a rematch, and we're trying to do that perkless. I have not once said I wanted a rematch. I've been saying the whole time, I just want y'all to spit my nuts out, but they never got the memo. I'm not even going to ban them. I just want you guys to see how Survivor mains act. Look at the eagles on them. This is perfect example of Survivor mains in a nutshell. Like they're in the chat asking for a rematch. How about y'all just go play? I don't think anybody wants y'all here. Get off my nuts. Spit it out, please. When did I ever ask y'all for a rematch? I have not said shit to you, goofies. I don't know why you guys are acting surprised. Their survivor remains. This is what they do. Did I text them? No, they texted me. This is literally how it goes. We teabag because he face cam. If y'all watched the video, the only time I face cam was at the end. And what else am I going to do? What, what else am I going to do? But if you watch the video also, you will see that they were doing this cocky stuff before I even face cam. They was already teabagging. They was already flashlight flicking all that cute stuff. So they still asking for rematches. Dude said, Lobo said you have his PSN. So if you want to rematch, hit him up and look at their leader. Death made it. Get baby. at the end was all skill though look at these dudes got the baby emote to indicate that i'm a baby because that's what they love calling me is a baby now what they're doing this is bully mentality you clearly see that i don't want to rematch and for those asking well jay why didn't you just play him are you scared i'm not scared this is why i didn't i don't play good when there's a lot of pressure when i know like i'm going up against something where i can't lose like it's a difference when i'm just playing for fun when I'm playing for a reason, it puts a lot of pressure, and I don't play good, which is why I don't enter tournaments. But the only reason why they're continuing to push the issue is because they see that I don't want to play. Still continuing to beg, and look at them talking about they killer mains. Look at Rhino. We're not survivor mains, dumbass, but later in the video, you're going to clearly see that he's a survivor main because he was complaining about stuff typical survivor mains complain about. Any killer mate would not be complaining about what he complained about. These professional Dead by Daylight survivors were really adamant that they proved that they can win without crutches. But they're a whole freaking DBD team. I'm a casual player. Playing me isn't going to prove anything. Okay, you can beat me. I'm a casual player. You guys say y'all compete for money. Play somebody worthy. 
After a while of hearing their mouth in my comment section of them begging to play me, I got fed up. So then I was like, okay, so good. I got somebody for y'all. They play for money and shit like that. I could easily pull up bad intentions. We can really get there. Y'all really feel like y'all the best. Y'all really think y'all doing something because y'all beat me. I play this shit for fun. Y'all talk about y'all. We play for money. Okay, play bad intentions and see what happens. I dare y'all. Y'all get y'all asses clapped. I promise y'all would. You come up in my stream talking like you're good. I don't play this shit for like that. Beat bad intentions and see what's up. If y'all trying to play, I'll pull up bad intentions right now. Then y'all really show chat how good y'all are. Bring anyone you want. It matters not. That's what he said. The leader said that. So y'all come on my stream talking like y'all mighty good. Okay. I got something for y'all. If y'all really want to play, I'll get somebody worthy. I can definitely get somebody worthy to play y'all right now. Somebody go get out. Mr. I'm so good. And don't run your crush perks and see what happens. Don't run your crush perks and see what happens. Because y'all damn near lost to a fucking Michael. What's it mean? We play for money. Okay, we're going to see how good y'all are. I want my boy smoke, y'all. Y'all better pay up, too. Get up, Skittles, and out. Oh, now when I accept a challenge, now all of a sudden I'm angry. Now I'm angry, chat. Isn't that funny? First I was scared. I'm a baby. Now when I say I'm ready, I got alpha in them. Now they talk about I'm angry. Okay. They're not... It, no, they they need perks. Alpha's gonna fucking obliterate them. Or Sir Skittles. It don't even matter. It's not even gonna be a challenge for them. We have some professional Dead by Daylight survivors in the chat that are asking to play. They think they're good because they beat me with all them crutch perks, but like I said, I'm a casual killer. They talking about they professionals and shit. Alright, well, I'm finna get some professionals in here too. For y'all that don't know who Skittles and Super Alpha is, they damn good killers on PS4. They told me whenever I need bad intentions, which is they squad, all I gotta do is call them. I got them on speed dial, and all I have to do is post something on Twitter, and my boy Alf pulled up. So I need you to humble these so-called professional Dead by Daylight survivors. Yeah, bro, get warmed up. You good. So now that Alf's in here, they was trying to make excuses. They said earlier, oh, I don't care who you get. Get, get whoever. Forgot to show y'all that. My boy said bring anyone you want. As soon as Alf pulls up, now all of a sudden it's a problem. If y'all professional Dead by Daylights, y'all a whole team, y'all compete for cash, play somebody who also does the same. Oh, now that Alf's in here, now they talking about, oh, why can't we? Y'all the best survivors, right? Why does it matter who you play? Beating me is not an accomplishment. I'm not a tourney player. I'm not a professional like you guys say. Like I said, bullies pick on the people they think is the weakest link. They're not going to say nothing to people that they think is going to fight back. They ain't said a dang thing to Alf. But because I already told them I don't want to play, now they keep pressing the issue. Keep that same energy with Alf. They tried to skedaddle up out of this butt whooping. We was not having it. Finally, after hours and hours, they was talking all that crap. It took an hour to get into this game, but it finally happened. This high ego survivor friends group ain't gonna have their crutches this game. This is a no perk battle. There ain't gonna be no depending on dead hard decisive strike. And y'all gonna see what happens when they don't have that. And y'all also finna see why, why I call it Super Alpha. Y'all about to see why he's the greatest nurse on PS4. The undefeated 5X tournament winning nurse is finna be in action. Without further ado, let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it out. Let's go. Let's see these professional Dead by Daylight people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Doubling up on Jins. Oh, my God. That's a two tap. Get him out of here. That's a two tap. Oh, my God. Get him out of here. That's another two tap. Get out of here. Where the professionals at? That's another two tap. How do you get two tapped in five seconds? What's up? Huh? What up? Where the professionals at? Oh, it's not Michael Myers. You don't have your crutches, eh? Interesting. Very interesting. It's, it's amazing what happens when you don't have your crutches and you're going against somebody who's also professional, eh? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, out, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at them. They don't know what to do. Y'all look so stupid right now. Y'all look so stupid right now. Y'all, oh my god, Chad, look at them. They look so stupid. 
Oh, y'all look so dumb. You wish you had your D-Strike, eh? Look at him. Hey, that teabagging shit ain't gonna work. Yeah. They're gonna be all oh, you have to. Yeah, he playing smart. Yeah. Anybody care about you teabagging? Yeah. 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 <laughs> One dead. Get him out of here, coach. Oh, man. Oh, man. One of your bitches is dead. Oh, man. Oh, man. Need to fear because Alf is here. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Nobody falling for your little pathetic jukes, Dwight. Get him out of here. Why do y'all play for money? Because when you get competition, you choke. Nice. Damn smart. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all not talking now. Yeah. Chat, what did I tell you they gonna say though? What did I tell you they gonna say? Oh well, you have to go get out. You damn skip. You are professional square professional. here tea back now yeah don't tea bag your friend is getting slaughtered you're trash stop it stop it yeah you ain't got your dead heart now oh man you ain't got your dead heart now yeah now here come the excuses now he's camping yeah now he talking about don't talk shit when you camping bro oh the same survival with friends group who ran all them crutch perks and bragged and think they're good because they can survive with friends and run those perks and live? Oh, that same survival with friends group who also said they're killer mains crying about camping? Now they want to talk crap about camping. Shut up. It shouldn't matter. If he's camping, do gins, duck. Yeah, look at, look at the excuses. He's camping. He's playing efficient? He's playing efficient? How dare he play efficient? How dare he play smart? Yeah, look at him. Now they mad. Who the angry one now? Who's the angry one now? Yeah, you ain't got that hard. You ain't got that hard. Don't you ever come up in here talking stupid. Duck, get him out of here. Yeah, you know, you can say you're not mad, but now they mad talking about stupid. Oh, he had dead. Yeah, look what happened when you ain't got your dead hard in crutches. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, easy work. I'll let them bleed out slowly till they DC or something. Oh, sweet victory. They was talking all that smack. Thought they was doing something. Then when a real professional, a killer who's about that tourney life pulls up, they fold like some laundry. If y'all ain't following my boy, link to his channel will be in the description. Make sure y'all go follow him. My boy pulled up, had my back. So it's only right that the TUR family show some love back. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, Alf, thank you so much. These motherfuckers, yeah, they did what they did to my Makamars. Cool, cool, cool. Then they come up my stream and try to heckle me. Okay. And y'all saw what happens when they play a worthy competition. They ain't got their crutches on. Get up out of here, coach. It's your boy. Follow my boy. Links to his channel will be in the description. I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching.